Hello my fabulous artists. Today we are doing a cut and paste portrait of Harriet Tubman in celebration of Black History Month. First, let's go over some supplies. You need a pack of multicolored construction paper, scissors, you need something to trace your pattern pieces with and to also draw some lines later. So something black, of course, I like to use a Sharpie, but you can use a color pencil or a black crayon. And when you're tracing your pattern pieces, you can use a pencil. And then you're going to need some glue. A glue stick is best uh, because the, the liquid glue can get a little messy. So glue stick. You're going to need 10 pattern pieces. So let's go over them. You need a head, you need the hair, a bandana, eyes, nose, mouth. There's a little dot that is to decorate the bandana. And you need three different shirt pieces. One, two, three. So all together, you should have 10 pattern pieces. First thing you're going to do is read the label on the pattern. So it says head dark brown cut one. So then you get your brown paper for that. The nose and the lips are also on brown. It says light brown, but I do not have light brown in this 10 color Crayola construction paper. So I'm going to use the same brown. And you can do that as well. You'll still be able to see it, it's okay. And here the shirt says dark gray. We're gonna use blue because that's what we have. So there's a couple of swap outs and um, so that's fine. If you don't have a light brown for the nose and the lips, just use the same brown. And the same, if you don't have dark gray for the shirt, use blue. All right, let's go over our construction paper colors. What we are going to use for the project. I'm using purple for the background. This is where we're going to glue all of the pieces that we cut out. Brown is for the skin. Black for the hair, the eyes, and a part of the shirt. Blue instead of dark gray if you want to if you have dark gray you can use it otherwise blue for part of the shirt white for part of the shirt and also this little dot we're going to use to decorate the bandana and then red for the bandana so make sure you have those colors ready you are going to trace the pattern pieces so you want to trace all of the pieces that go on the same color. For example, let's do brown. So I know that the head is brown and the nose and the lips are brown. Okay, so I'm going to place my pattern pieces on that color. Trace it. You want to hold your pattern pieces steady. Sometimes they move. It's okay. Because any little scratch marks, you can just cut them off. Okay, so that is it. And now I'm gonna go one by one. Each color, I'm going to take the paper out, place the pattern on, trace it. Once I have them all traced, then I'm gonna cut them out.
Okay, I've got all my pattern pieces traced. Remember, purple is the background. You can use a different color if you want, but make sure you don't use red, brown, or black because those colors and probably not blue either because those colors are on the portrait and then Harriet Tubman won't stand out. You don't want the background to be the same color as the colors you use on Harriet Tubman. So pick something that's a different color than any of the colors you use to assemble Harriet Tubman. You'll see what I mean when we get there. I have my head, nose, and lips on brown. Hair, shirt, and eyes. Remember to trace that pattern piece two times. Blue instead of dark gray. If you have dark gray and you want to use it, go for it. If not, please use blue. Then I traced the cutout circle one time and then I decided it would just be easier to freehand draw the rest of them. So you can do that. Make sure you have seven circles so that you have seven to decorate your bandana with, at least seven. And then that's part of the shirt. Here is the bandana for the head wrap. Okay, now it's time to cut these out. Now I've got my pieces all cut out and it's time to assemble and glue them together onto the page. Let's go step by step. The first thing you're gonna do is the shirt. So those three different color pieces, blue, black, and white, those make up the shirt. I'm gonna set everything else aside. Until I'm ready for the other parts. Do not glue anything down to the paper right away. You want to assemble it, make sure everything is fitting nicely, and once it's kind of like putting a, a puzzle together. And once you see everything fits, then you glue it down. Okay, I want to point out, when I traced my pattern pieces, I left some black along the edges, and I don't really want that to show. So I'm going to flip it to the other side, and that way you can't see the black marks. All right, so I want this part to be showing. She had like a scarf that was in the front that was black and a shirt to the background. So I'm just trying to get an idea of what it's going to look like finished. So I want you guys to play with the pieces and kind of arrange them to see what works. All right. So the first thing you're going to do is work from the back side. I'm going to flip this over. This is going to be my the back side, the side that I have my lines on. So I know that's the back side. Okay, now I want to line up the black piece, kind of center it. And then the white piece, I want to match this corner 
with the corner here. So the corner of the white paper here with the corner of the blue shirt here. So I'm going to kind of play with it. I think that looks right. Let's see. Now I'll line this up with that. Okay. I'm pretty happy. Alright, so I know how I want to assemble it. And I'm going to take this apart and glue it down. glue the black part of the shirt to the white part of the shirt. Line it up with the top edge. Smooth it down. See, nothing is glued to the paper yet. I've only glued the black to the white. Now, I'm going to glue, notice how I flip it over, because this is the back of it. So you, you want to have the shirt in this order, blue on top, then the black goes next and the white after that. So I'm going to glue this to this. And remember, we lined it up. So, put a little V shape of glue here, right there in the opening, in this V shape opening, just putting glue there only. I want to be able to move it if I need to. I'm trying to line it up. So, let's see. I'm going to put this here. Press it down. Okay. So now we've got the shirt. So this part goes towards the edge. But we're not going to glue the final thing down yet, remember, because I want to piece everything together first. So I just want to kind of play with my positioning of each piece first. Remember, the side that has like the pencil or, or my case sharpie line showing where you traced it and cut out, that side is facing down now. That way it's nice and clean. You don't have to see those lines on the outside. Okay. So... I'm gonna position the head. Let's position the hair. So the hair should line up close to the edges of the face. And you move it down quite a bit. Because remember, there's gotta be a bandana on top. And this kind of layers over and her hair shows through just a little. Let me switch some. Let me swap it. Yeah, that's better. There you go. So I am lining up the edges because I want it to look like the bandana. The hair is just peeking out of the bandana. Okay, like that. Now, let me try the nose here. And since I didn't have light brown and I'm using the same color brown, 
I think what I'm going to do is let the line show on the lips. Okay. Now the eyes start with the two dots and then we draw in the rest. Right now, we're not gluing because we're just positioning everything. And then dots to decorate. Place them at random. Wherever you feel they look best. Okay, you want to make sure everything stays on the paper. Okay, I think I'm happy with my arranged pieces, so now it's time to start gluing. I'm going to pull this aside. Now the shirt, flip it over, place glue on the back, you're going to line it up with the bottom edge of the paper. Make sure it lines up with the bottom edge of the paper. Let's move it down. Okay. Now, I'm going to glue my head. And I've already got an idea because I did a practice. Sure, I get it on the edges really well. Flip it over and position the head. Remember, you're covering a little bit of the top part of this shirt, so make sure you overlap your pieces. Okay, feel good about that. Smooth it out. Always smooth from the center out. Center out. Alright, so don't go straight to the eyes and nose and mouth from here. It's really important that you put the hair and the bandana next because if you try to put the, the nose and mouth and eyes on there, you might not have enough room for placement of the hair. So make sure you're going in order, the same order that I'm showing you. Again, remember we were lining up these two these two little corners at the end with the edge of the face. So make sure it fits on there right. And let's move it on. So 
So I see you have a little corner there, needs a little glue. It's important that your edges are glued down. So if you ever see any sticking up like that, you just pull them up a little, just wipe the glue, press it down. All right, so I'll have to arrange my dots again. Last step. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over. Remember, it lines up like this. So, always check first. Kind of line it up, see where you're gonna place it, then put your glue and place it. It's always good to get a visual before you put it down because then once it's glued on there, sometimes it's, that's it, you can't peel it up without damaging it. So a glue stick is pretty forgiving. Um, if you pull it up quick enough, you might be able to move it, but it's better if you don't have to even chance it. Okay, remember, this covers the hair. So I'm gonna bring it all the way so my little hair showing. All right. Give it just a okay. Fix my little corner here. There you go. Now I'm going to add the nose. The nose is good because it's kind of the center of the face here, so everything will work around it. Remember I decided I wanted to see the lines on the lips here? Because since I did not use a different color brown, it helps them to stand out. But you don't have to do that. I'm just choosing to do that here. You don't have to. It's totally up to you. Maybe you had light brown and dark brown, or maybe you have another plan. That's fine. I really like it like that. So I've positioned it, and I'm adding the glue. And you know, I was thinking on the nose. If the edges are not fully um, glued down, it might not even be a bad thing because it casts a little bit of a shadow. And since I'm not using a lighter color brown, it helps the nose to stand out a little bit more. So I'm okay with it not fully glued all the way on the edges, but make sure it is glued on really well, at least to the center, because you don't want that to fall off. Now for the lips. So I'm very comfortable um, gluing on top. You might want to apply your glue off to the side because even though it will dry clear, it's going to leave like a little shiny streak and it's not going to be attractive. So maybe it would be better if instead of placing it on your paper to apply glue, you apply the glue off to the side. That way any little bits of glue that might get on the paper you don't have to live with that. Now for my eyes. So for these tiny dots, I put it on my finger and swipe it on. And same for the decorative dots for the bandana hair wrap. For these, you can kind of 
do them a little bit differently if you wanted to make them a little smaller or put more of them that would be okay all right i'm done here and then let's see it's time to start adding those extra lines we spoke about so we're going to add some lines for the eyes bit for the mouth. I'm done.